Welcome to Mr. Vishnu's online tutorial series iTutor. Today we are going to see how to minimize a Boolean function using Quine McCluskey or the tabulation method as it's popularly known. A map is a convenient method for minimizing Boolean functions up to five variables. But, it is difficult to simplify the Boolean functions having more than five variables by using this method. Quine McCluskey tabular method is a tabular method based on the concept of prime implicants. We know that prime implicant is a product term, which can't be further reduced by combining with any other product or some terms of the given Boolean function. Quine McCluskey Procedure Step number one grouping of binary terms based on number of ones in ascending order. Step number two compare the adjacent groups and find the terms that has only one position difference. Step number 3, repeat step 2 until no further reduction is possible. Step number 4, draw the prime implicant table. Step number 5, find the essential prime implicants. Step number 6, draw the reduced prime implicant table and find the reduced prime implicants. Step number 7, find the final Boolean equation. Quine-McCluskey method example solve f a b c d equals sigma m 0 1 2 3 4 6 7 11 12 15 step 1 arrange the given min terms in an ascending order and make the groups based on the number of ones present in their binary representations So, there will be at most n plus 1 groups if there are n boolean variables in a boolean function or n bits in the binary equivalent of min terms. Step 2. Compare the min terms present in successive groups. That is, g1 with g2, g2 with g3, g3 with g4 etc. If there is a change in only one bit position, then take the pair of those two minute terms. Place the symbol underscore in the different bit position and keep the remaining bits as it is. Also put a tick mark to indicate the element is grouped. Let's finish the grouping as per the instruction we have seen earlier. At this point we would advise you to pause the video and try to complete the table yourself. Grouping can be done only between adjacent or successive groups, so let's start with G1 and G2. Comparing 0 with 1, we can see the last bit has the difference. Thus the grouping can be done as 0, 1 with binary value 0, 0, 0 underscore. Comparing 0 with 2, we can see the second last bit has the difference. Thus the grouping can be done as 0, 2 with binary value 0, 0 underscore 0. Comparing 0 with 4, we can see the second bit has the difference. Thus the grouping can be done as 0, 4 with binary value 0 underscore 0, 0. Now let's repeat the same process for G2 and G3. Comparing 1 with 3 we get 0, 0 underscore 1. 1 can't be grouped with 6 and 12 as there are more than one positional difference. Similarly on comparison of 2, 3 we get 0, 0, 1 underscore. 2 comma 6 we get 0 underscore 10, 0, 2 can't be grouped with 12 as 2 position differs. Comparison of 4 comma 3 is not possible as more than one position varies. On comparison of 4 comma 6 we get 0 1 underscore 0. 4 with 12 we get underscore 1 0, 0. The results will look as shown in the table after all the possible elements are grouped together from successive groups. Here min term 12 is not grouped with adjacent group element 7 or 11, but since it's already grouped with 4 a tick mark is placed. Similarly there is not adjacent group for 15 but it's already grouped with 7, thus a tick mark is placed. Step 3. Repeat step 2 with newly formed terms till we get all prime implicants. Note. If an element is not able to be grouped, instead of tick mark, use a cross mark. 
Once all elements are grouped in such a way, further grouping is not possible and the cross marks for non-covered elements is also marked. Look for redundant terms and strike them out. Step 4. Once the tick mark, cross mark labeling and striking out of redundant elements are over, use the non-stroke and cross mark terms to formulate the prime implicit table. It consists of set of rows and columns, such that prime implicants are placed row-wise and min terms are placed column-wise. Place asterisk in the cells corresponding to the min terms that are covered in each prime implicant. Step 5. Find the essential prime implicants. Observe each column. If the min term is covered only by one prime implicant, that is our essential prime implicant. Only one dot in entire column, then circle the dot, the corresponding prime implicant is the essential prime implicant, meaning the equation cannot be further reduced. These essential prime implicants will be part of the simplified Boolean function. Step 6 Reduce the prime implicant table by removing the row of each essential prime implicant and the columns corresponding to the min terms that are covered in that essential prime implicant. Look for min terms which can be selected, such that they cover maximum non-covered variables. Stop this process when all min terms of given Boolean function are over. Compared to min term, 0, 2, 4, 6, min term, 2, 3, 6, 7, cover more variables, thus it selected, y final equals y essential plus y reduced. y essentials equals a bar b bar plus c d plus b c bar d bar. y reduced equals a bar c. y final equals a bar b bar plus c d plus b c bar d bar plus a bar c. Thank you for watching, please leave your valuable comments and subscribe our channel for new tutorials. Also press bell icon for notifications.